Hey everyone, I hope you're all well. It's day six of the fourth round of the Body Coach. I am absolutely loving it. Um, I am just finding it so simple. It's like, it. Yeah, I don't even have to think about it anymore because I'm, you know, fourth cycle one that I've done so far and, and it really is just slotting into everyday life so much more straightforwardly. When I, when I think back to the first time I did it and the amount of time I used to spend in the kitchen and washing up and drowning under, under Tupperware, I have no idea how I used to make it so complex because it really isn't. Um, so I went to the Killers last night and I danced my little heart out. Uh, I was properly up like jumping, arms up in the air, um, just a huge contrast to the Angela of old, so that was really great, and there was something that he said last night, I have posted it on quite a few of the channels, but he said, nobility is not being superior to our fellow man, nobility is being superior to our former selves, and for me, that resonated, it was just like, boom you know this this premise of not comparing ourselves with others and striving to be the best version of ourselves kind of hit that on the head last night but in a way that I have never heard it articulated before so and he was wearing a very fine gold suit which only probably Brandon Flowers can get away with so uh, loved it burnt tons of calories I had a 3,000 calorie burn day yesterday thanks to all the dancing that I did last night, so that was great. Also, I ate out last night, so cycle one can be a bit of a pain because it's all set recipes, there's no pick and mix, and it can be quite scary when you eat out, but we went to Piccolino's, a little Italian, it's like a high street chain, and I had a spinach salad, which had avocado, a pancetta, um, tomato, which I don't like, so I asked for no tomatoes. Mushrooms, the mushrooms were warm, so it was really yummy. And it had a lemon dressing on it, and then I ordered a side of broccoli, which came with garlic and chili. And you know what? That wasn't really what I wanted to choose, if I'm honest. You know, there were so many yummy things on that menu, but when I got it, it was absolutely delicious. And obviously meant that I stayed on plan. So, you know, when you're out in a restaurant, just choose the best thing that you can that's on that menu that will keep you on track. Yes, you can't count it. Yes, you can't measure it. But, I mean, you know, a plate of spinach with some mushrooms and pancetta isn't going to kill me, is it? So <laughs> try and think like that when you're out. And obviously I avoided dessert. Yeah. Um... So today, good day, I was reunited with the lime and avo smoothie and I've got a new way of having that now. So I make it without the Greek yogurt and then I put the Greek yogurt on top of it and eat it like that and I just find it really, really nice that way. So, And I use frozen raspberries as well so that it's really, really thick. So I had that, which was yummy. Um, and then I um, and then I had my two snacks again at lunchtime. So the turkey bacon wrapped things, egg things. So I'm just about to do a hit. It's, it's tea time now. So just about to do a hit. I'm gonna have pancakes after that. And then I'll eat my final meal, sort of eight, 8.30 this evening. So all is good. I've absolutely loved this week. I'm feeling full of beans, full of energy. Just can't wait to see what Sunday brings because I might have a little cheeky stay, um, step on the sad step and see what's going on. I'm just going to give you a quick glimpse. If I turn the phone that way and through those doors, <gasps> you might see some little shiny lights because I've put the tree up. Yay! I know it's too early. Don't even go there. On that note, I will leave you to enjoy your night and I'll speak to you all tomorrow.